I'm Mel Renfro. 14 years with the Dallas Cowboys. Two-time Super Bowl champs. And a 10-year prostate cancer survivor. Early detection of prostate cancer is something that's very important. I too was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Fortunately, I'm here nine years later and living a happy, healthy life and taking care of patients with the additional perspective of not only knowing a little bit about prostate cancer and how to treat it, but also what it's like to be a patient. We provide screenings in places such as barber shops, rec centers, grocery stores, churches, wherever the men are, we take this screening to them. Well, I, I've been working with Tim at Methodist for about eight years now. Uh, I've gone to different uh, events with him. I've been on the radio with him talking about this because you never know how serious it's going to be. And uh, if you don't get it checked, you know, you can end up in having a real serious case of the, of the cancer especially gentlemen who have family histories of prostate cancer or in the African-American community. Those people need to start screening at the age of 40 and the routine population screening begins at the age of 50. Well, when you talk about prostate screening, the first thing that men think about is that finger, which is the digital rectal exam. Each time I go out and do a screening event, men are more willing to do the prostate blood test part of the screening but so many men are reluctant to get the rectal exam. But you need to do both tests. I've heard guys say, well, they either don't have the time, they're too busy, or if they got something, they don't want to know. I've heard guys say, well, I got to die from something. But then I tell them, why do you want to take a risk of dying from something that's treatable? If you are having urinary retention symptoms or if you're having back pain or uh, other symptoms related to uh, uh, urinary or urine flow difficulties, it's important that those are uh, considered as potential for prostate cancer. I've been working with Methodist in their prostate screening program for a long time now. They do a wonderful job and I'll continue to do whatever I can to support that program. And this is an awesome program. I'm, I am happy to say that we are nationally recognized as the number one hospital-based prostate program in the entire country. We've averaged about 40 prostate cancers per year through our screenings. And I'm also, again, happy to say that most of those men are still alive today. And a lot of them credit the fact that they got this screening at one of our locations is the reason why they are alive today. And it's important that I take care of myself because I've got nine grandkids, one on the way. No greater feeling. No greater feeling than knowing that you're making a difference in the lives of people. And that's what this program is about. This program was put here to save lives. And that's exactly what we're doing.